everybody thought that the idea was crazy. And I sincerely did not think that it was a crazy idea. Ever wanted to go to Mars? We have been expecting you. People have fantasized what it would be like for decades. Santa Claus, you will never return to Earth. Now you belong to Mars. Ho, ho, ho. Some predictions seem pretty silly now, but a Dutch nonprofit called Mars One says it's serious about a human mission to the Red Planet, and they want to do it with billions of dollars drummed up through media deals and sponsorships. Everybody thought that the idea was crazy. And I literally did not think, like, I sincerely did not think that it was a crazy idea. So I thought that that probably meant I should apply. Meet Mead McCormick. She's a filmmaker in Los Angeles and one of the top 100 finalists for the Mars One mission. I've been kind of obsessed with science fiction and space my entire life. I think Mars would be, it would be a tough challenge and it would be actually somewhat similar to, like, the explorers of the new world where they went through harsh winters, they didn't have anything, they didn't have anybody to help. The most significant simplification is that the crew is actually going to stay and live on Mars with the intention to remain there for the rest of their lives. If you've been following the news about Mars One, you know that there's been some criticism of the project. Does the Danish nonprofit actually have enough money to send people to Mars? Will the technology be advanced enough for the mission to take off in the next few decades? To be fair, the questions are really endless when you're trying to send human beings through space to another planet where they will eventually die. That's for making me come to Mars. But for the sake of argument, let's just consider the idea of dying on Mars, or being so dedicated to the cause of exploration, you'd be willing to give up literally everything here on Earth. The trip would probably be the most stir-crazy that would be because we wouldn't be able to leave and, and you'd have to like work out for three hours a day and you'd be like right on top of each other and in case there was like solar flares or something, you'd have to go like into this chamber that's like radioactively shielded and you might have to be there for like two days and it's tiny. But I think once you're actually there and everything's set up and good, then there would be plenty of room and you could go outside in, in your spacesuit. you could go outside for up to like maybe an hour a day. I hereby claim Mars in the name of the United States of America. It's still hard to imagine exactly what it would be like on the planet, but fantasizing about what could be is a necessary part of exploring the unknown. I think a big part of the mission itself and of the Mars One program, a big reason for it is to inspire humanity. And I think exploration does that. It, it broadens our horizons, it makes us learn new perspectives and new ways of thinking about like what we know and what we don't know. It has a huge influence on, on ethics, on beliefs, on like very primal fundamental feelings that we all have. So I think that's important to, to like call into question like all the time. And I think that we go through those points in our lives naturally. But I think that like in the timeline of humanity, I think it's about time for one of those changes.